Hi, everybody. Howard here from Lounge Academy. I'll be one of, one of the hosts for your next four hours of lounging. I'm joined here at the piano by Mary. Very happy to be here tonight. Mary's very happy to be here tonight. Suddenly she's speaking like real soft. <laughs> Can I laugh real loud? <laughs> and if you've if you've never uh, tuned in to Lounge Academy on a Friday night, uh, welcome. And if you're a Lounge Cadet already, then well, welcome back and a big Lounge Cadet hello. And what we do here is. We're a reality piano bar. Wouldn't you say that's a kind of a, a good... A reality piano bar is accurate. Because we're, we're completely unscripted. Right? Yes, and we are you have no on idea any, how any evening is... Are you on any time. scripts? I am not. I have no script. I'm not on any scripts. <laughs> I'm drug-free. <laughs> Which does not help. But um, not, nevertheless... Regardless. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing now is I'm I'm trying to tune us in on my first first we have to we have to check the, the hair the hair cam to see if my if my part is straight. Right, Mary Jane and Forty and Dave Mark David Hemblock. Hembach, what a what a great show business group we have already. And Michael Gray, this is great. And Mike Long, gr greetings everybody. Wow, that's nice. We're you're watching Lounge Academy. I think some of you are, might be new to the show, and you're uh, you're on Lounge Academy. You're not watching it. You're you're part of the lounge. That just happens automatically. My name's Howard, and. Uh, and you'll see president of WBIG TV walking around in the background there. He, he's busy with many of the show prep responsibilities. We let you in on the beginning of the show. It, um, we call it the beginning of the show. And one of the highlights is I have to horse around with my tablet so, it'll, so I can watch the show and see your comments while I'm playing the piano and taking requests. Sheila's checking in. Uh, sadly, Sheila won't be here tonight, at least not on this side of the camera. Well, we, we're, we will. Thank you, Sheila. We'll do our best to do that. Um, it, it is, I know you, you were hoping to, to be uh, on studio, on set tonight, but uh, I know you'll make it as soon as you can from Toronto. And welcome Stu, Stu Boyer for walking into the lounge. It's, uh, it's that part of the show that we often sit here and wonder, <laughs> did the, did the uh, producer of the show uh, arrange any, any guests, <laughs> right? Stu Boyer's watching us? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Stu's out there. I'm a big fan. And, uh, well, Stu has a big fan here and president of... And Julie Beth, it's great. Great that you're tuning in. It's great from the, the Kunz household. So, uh, yeah, I got my... Uh, I got my... I got my thing working here, kind of. Mary's requesting that I play. Give us some George I'd like to say hi to uh, Trigger, one of my favorites. He's out there. And oh, wow. Hope Trigger can maybe maybe we can get Trigger. You know, so he's I know he's he's busy. His calendar is very full, but maybe uh, either you know on his way to or from one of his show business engagements one of these Friday nights. 
maybe maybe Trigger will uh, surprise us and uh, come down to the studio. He's got an open invitation. And uh, do a little walk-on and just do a little mingling and lounging and no pressure if he happens to feel like there's a song or two in him, that's fine too. Otherwise, you know, we just love, love to see him. We didn't check my hair. Um, I did this very confidently tonight because I knew, I knew my part was going to be well prepared. I did use uh, ample product tonight. I didn't want to make the mistake I made recently. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Downtown, anyway. Blue skies. From now on, blue skies from now on, at least for the next four hours. You think Elfie's one of my nice songs? Thank you, Mary. So and I usually can't hear That's a challenge. Now, that, okay, so I'll do it just because yeah, I, I admire people who take chances. Yeah. And starting out with a song that requires a warmed up voice to even do a lousy job. Big shout out to Mr. Bond, Brian Bond. Brian, yeah, Brian's due to be down here anytime. I got a feeling, I got a feeling he's been here before. And he's due again, along with the garageettes. Hi, Sophia. Is the old man on his way down here, Sophia? I feel like um, the guy who walked the tightrope over Niagara Falls. Oh, yeah. Of course, what could happen that hasn't happened before, right? So wait, you get philosophical about show business. That was just, well, one day ago that happened when he walked the uh, tightrope. Really? It was the, um, I think, 7th. Anniversary a day ago. <clears throat> oh, really? Oh, gee, I remember watching him do yeah. that over while Jocko was playing. It was, it was exciting. The anniversary. What was the guy's name again? Nick Wallenda. Nick Wallenda. How soon we forget the guy? What does the guy have to do to get me to remember his name? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if it shows how bad I am. Once it all about. I had chickens to it, but I didn't go. I didn't go either. Nick Wolander. Is it just for the moment we live? What's it all about when you sort it out, Elfie? Are we meant to take more? Then we give Or are we meant to be kind And if only fools are kind Healthy Then I guess it is wise to be cruel
on an old golden rule as sure as I believe there's a heaven above our feet I know there's something much more something even now Without true love, we just exist, Elfie, until you find the love you've missed. You're nothing, Elfie, when you walk, let your heart lead the way, and you'll find love any day. We should. Bert Bacharach. That was not by request. Heck of a first song. Nice to see you, Gaia. Wonderful having you with us. It is a beautiful, blustery day. It's beautiful and blustery. Shout out to Jeff. I see you, sir. Jeff Dolina. Talk about Mr. Show Business. Great having you lounging. We're going to be here till 11 o'clock tonight. It's almost four hours from now, so keep us, lounge with us in your background of your evening. It'll keep you anchored, so no matter what's going on, you'll know you have a secret that you're actually in a lounge. Why should it die? I'd like to congratulate uh, Ryan, president of WBIG TV. You, you got a big uh, award this week. Yes. For the second year in a row, I won the Best Pie in Black Rock contest. Best Pie in Black it's Rock. It's an amazing accolade. It sounds like an episode of the Flintstones. <laughs> Yes, Remember everything is rock. Oh, yeah. Like, called Rocky Mononoff. They had that in the movie. I remember now, that. You, um, this is <laughs> your second, <laughs> your second <laughs> win in a row. Yes. I saw the pie, and it was amazing. It didn't look, did not look like, it looked like Michelangelo did it or something. It was a real work of art, right? I threw it together at the last minute the morning before. You did? Or the morning of. You threw it because together. he was here yeah. at Lounge Academy the night before. He and was. He was here late. Because yes, he's we, got. He's got. Yes, he tens not, of witnesses. He did not leave early because he had to enter this pie competition. He stayed here until the end of Lounge yeah. Academy, and, and then some, as we say here in Buffalo. Well, yes, and then, and he, then some, and then I went to Tops at <laughs> about uh, eleven thirty to get my ingredients, and then I went home and <laughs> made my pie. It was done by about one o'clock, and. Then the next morning, I had to run out and get some whipping cream and put it in a pastry bag. And wow, it was so precise. So it looked, it like looked you, beautiful. It looked like uh, he got no sleep. He used a laser or something to measure it out. I just made it. Or GPS. Now oh, this this you. tie. Um, if, if maybe we can get a closer shot. Yeah, yeah. Point, point your. Let the, let the camera see your tie. <laughs> this, are you it's zooming a little, in? a little should dark. I, should I go up to it? Yeah, you can go up to it. It's a little, a little dark over there. But, um, <laughs> oh, well. Okay. We, the tie is a Polish fabric that up. matches. This, this fabric matches his, his pie carrier. Ca carrier. It's the same fabric pattern. The winning pie carrier. It's the winning pie carrier. That was part of the prize. 
which is, is part of the competition. Yes, I think it's part of the prize. And they, um, one of his fans, who owns a bakery, so there you go, somebody, you know, a peer, one, one of his own, his own um, was so impressed that unannounced uh, surprised Ryan with, with a tie uh, that matches. The, the story didn't quite go like that, but close enough. <laughs> well, as told to a WBIG TV reporter, <laughs> which could have, could have made some mistakes, but... It's a beautiful tie. So now two years in a row, I have a matching cloth pie carrier and bow tie. This year being a Polish fabric and last year being a Dutch wax fabric. Wow. Two pie carriers, two bow ties. Well, how about everybody? Let's all Ryan. Here at home, black rock and pie wherever you are now. lounging, let's have a round of applause for that accomplishment. That That's cake, great. That pie Under contest. pressure, where you know he was out here the night before until very late, yeah. he was able to turn that around, and he might not even be done making the pie at that point, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Ray Emmerman is in the lounge. Oh, Ray Emmerman. Welcome, Ray. Great to see you, sir, Ray. Ray's one of the great lounge entertainers in Western New York and beyond. All over the world, they know Ray Emmerman. Great lounges. He is. He's definitely from the... I've seen him in the great lounges over the decades. Many people remember Ray Emmerman's performance with Electra Krugel and Jackie Jocko at the Cloister, where he performed uh, regularly in, uh, in a uh, dinner theater of sorts, in a lounge kind of dinner theater. They would do, uh, during Jocko's uh, night of, of doing his thing, they would... Um, Put on little little skits, I think, right? Didn't they? I never saw it there because yes, I didn't. I, they did. I wasn't on the scene yet. Yes. No. They and, but did, they did but they skits, did. and yes. uh, it was kind of a vaudeville thing, and uh, and and Electra would. Yes, Electra was also in. Was in those, and I think one of her lines was, "Is that a pickle in your pants, or are you just glad to see me?" <laughs> and I think she directed that line at, at Ray Emmerman. <laughs> Electra, boy, how are we getting along without Electra? We Barely, were. right? Just think if we had some of the great lounge cadets of the past who we had the pleasure of knowing, uh, if they were still uh, among us to lounge, yeah. how, how wonderful that would be, right? But it's all up to us now, I guess. Nice to see JT out there and Guy. How are you, Guy? Guy, do you have those summer off? Didn't you like uh, screw up your leg or something, and you're going to be kind of forced to, forced to enjoy your summer? There's a song, Guy Valeri inspired me with. He started the night with it once here at Lounge Academy. When he thought nobody was paying attention, he stepped up to the stage and quietly started off a song. He was just not quite warmed up to the room yet, you know, where he was probably feeling a little, a little inward. captured it on video and kind of saw it after the fact. <laughs> well now we're now we're in good shape. Nice to see you Paul Kakoda. I guess the door is open. Yeah now that now that Paul's here we now that Paul's here we can lock the door. <laughs> yeah we want Paul to have access. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's great to see Paul. The evening is complete. <laughs> yeah, we have Howard to ourselves for a while, Paul. What's that? 
we have power to ourselves. We can just oh, ask them yeah. to play anything. It's an intimate evening. Yeah. Well, we're, we're Which good. we like. Do we we're enjoy good it? now. Yeah. We've yeah, got we the Jana Sultan of Lounge. <laughs> I wonder if he knows this song. Why? Why shouldn't I take a chance when romance passes by? Why? Why shouldn't I know of love? Why wait around when he change as a sage who has found that upon this earth love is all that is really worth thinking of. It must be fun, lots of fun. That the hour is coming when you'll be kissed and then you'll be kissed again. All debutantes say it's good. And every star out in far Hollywood seem to give us so why, why shouldn't I You ever hear the song ball? Yeah, I do know it. Who wrote that? I was hoping you'd know. Sorry about that guy, I forgot to uh, change the cameras back again. We're showing off Ryan's tie. And then I forgot to put the cameras back. Okay, we got, got a lot of requests here. Most of these. First two are uh, Rogers and Mark. That's wonderful, Marilyn. Thank you. 
thank you for that. Sitting across from me at the end of the piano is Paul Kokoda, who's known as the Janus Oaken of Lounge. He's the number one critic, and he knows his stuff. And it's great when he's here. Brings out our best game. Looking up some requests. It's easy to remember, so hard to forget. Yeah, where is that one? Is that the actual name of it? Yeah. It's easy to remember. Is that the official title? I think, you know, they don't run it for two sentences, you know. Yeah. All right. They have so many classics. Yeah, I know. I've got that in something here. But so hard to forget. Yeah, yeah. It's a good one. All right, well, we'll, we'll get to these through the night. I see Bob and Nancy. Great having Bob Davis in the house tonight too with, yeah. with his busy show business schedule. I haven't seen him in a few weeks. I wonder if he's going to be working up the street at Pauza House tonight. Did you say Bob and Nancy are out there? Yeah, they're just heading in now. Again, ladies and gentlemen, because it's Friday. Well, those are great songs, Jeff. I agree, I love those songs. Nancy's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Nancy's here. She brought Bob. We're getting the requests are flying in. These are people that know their songs. I'll be loving you always. We're gonna have to find that one for you tonight. Let's see. Mark David. How are you? Oh, oh it's, it's Paul. He changed oh, I seats. Will, will. Yeah. I was in there seeing I will have my co pilots finding some of these songs requests for us so I'm not sitting here looking up songs. Yeah, we need Donna. to discover what chemical forces fall from lover to lover how little we understand what touches off that tingle the sudden explosion when two tingles intermingle who cares to define what chemistry this is cares with your lips on mine what ignorant bliss is so long as you kiss me and the world around us shatters how little it matters how little we know I don't remember 
No. against you. business career. It's nice to see Captain Dave Sutton out there lounging, holding a cocktail, one more in the other hand. No, someone's going to have to look these up while I'm playing, otherwise I'll be playing librarian. See, here. Take take a look. See, uh, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't remember seeing that one, but wow. Party's getting good, the way it should. On a Friday night at Lounge Academy. that song, look for the silver lining. 
Is, is that, that all there is? Yeah. What well, I'll have my co-pilots find these songs though. Just keep your eyes open. For, look for the silver lining. And I, I've heard that song performed. I liked it. And is that all there is? Then let's keep lounging. Remember who did that one? Was what's her name? Well, is that all there is? That's kind of an epic. Yeah, I don't know how well I could. That one really tells a story. three you'll find a lot of songs. Every song you know the camera can see the Oh that's that's beautiful. A donut shaped, a donut shaped thing with I guess you, you could put a T in there. I love that. It looks like it looks Victorian. Or, or, or your favorite beverage of, That's great, thank you. Here's a song about an oxymoron. Speaking of oxymorons. Sign the confession of judgment? Yes. Am I blue? Yeah. Oh, 
See, it is called It's Easy to Remember. Sometimes there's a slight, you know, like they'll leave out the it's, which throws off the whole Dewey Decimal System. This will be easier in two weeks when my new glasses come in. Your sweet expression. How are you going to see when your glasses come in? Walmart will call me. The smile you gave me. Are you going to see the caller ID? The way you looked when. When we met. So hard to forget. Your sweet ex. I hear you whisper. I'll always love you. I know it's over. Sweet expression. The smile you gave me. The way you looked when that night we met. Mississippi, 1934. Great one. Leave it to Paul. Come up with these great. Paul is the Janice Oaken of Lounge.
to see everybody here convened tonight. Someone said as we shook hands, she was just Miss Jones. Then I said, Miss Jones, you're a girl who understands. I'm a man who must, I must be free. And all at once I lost my breath. All at once was scared to death. All at once I owned the earth and I had my new breath. Now I've met Miss Jones. And we'll keep on meeting till we die. Miss Jones and I. Song on here are we gonna do? There's four. Of them. I think it's the bottom one on your left. In the land of oh, in love, in love and bank. Okay. If I've ever heard it before, I'll do it. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot it was on. I don't know if I know it, but if I do, if I've heard it, I can at least. Met Miss Jones. Someone said as we shook hands, she was just Miss Jones to me. On meeting till we die. <laughs> Miss Jones and I. Good, good idea, guy. We could fit more seats around it. So, Howard, who do we have uh, calling in tonight on your Facebook page? Thank you, Jeff. What's that, uh, David Corbin? Uh, who do we have uh, watching at home? We've got quite quite a uh, star-studded group of Brown cadets tonight. Mark David Heimbeck, who's... Paul, well, someday you're going to meet him. If you had, if, if you have not met him here years ago at some of the parties, Mark David Heimbeck Nielsen, he's an expert. He has a he's a cataloger of Capitol Records. Yeah. I mean, he, he's, he's, he's a, and these these songs he requests are uh, stuff stuff you you love. My funny Valentine, that's a good one. We can get to that. You can't take that away from me. You can't take that away from me. That's another nice one. I love his songs. Mark's got great songs. 
Minnesota's regrets in the true New York cabaret. Bobby, Bobby Shores. Show off. Yes, that's what you're Miss Otis Regrets? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's because he was competitive with Bobby Short. Came out. He was so, just, they got a great, value it, right? Yes, right next to Bellio, right up there in the same he place. Just like, Again, 
We gotta do some of Mark's songs for him. It's nice to see Betty. Is Betty out there?
may never, never, never meet again on that bumpy road of love. Always, always keep the memory of the way you hold your knife, the way we dance till three, the way you wrecked my life. No, no, they can't take that away from me. No, they can't take that away from Dave. They can't take that away from me. The way Betty's on Lounge of Cadets, she's at Lounge Academy. It's Betty, you and me. Nice to see you tonight. That was a Mark David Heimbeck Nielsen request. He knows his songs like nobody's business. Nobody's business. It ain't nobody's business but mine. Paul's tearing through the books. Well, here's one, just turn to, here's a Gershwin tune we haven't done in about forever. We're, you're gonna hear it soon though. No one would know that verse, including me. Soon, the lonely nights will be ended. Hearts as one will be blended soon. I found the happiness I've waited for. The only girl that I've been fated for. Soon, a little cottage will find us. These strangers ever behind us. I don't recognize this couple. The day you're mine, the world will be in tune. They look pretty hip though. Then make this day come soon. I think I rem I think I recognize this hip couple that came in, but it's been such a long time. the whole week. Soon the lonely nights will be ended. Soon two hearts as one will be blended. I found the happiness I've waited for. All the cares far behind us. The day or mine, the world will be in two. Let's make this day come soon. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Paul's got another request. No, here's one. You may not know this one. It's a fabulous song. Oh. This one is, it's a beautiful song. You know I've heard I've heard it. He 
with a capital H. Shout out to Dale out there. How are you, sir? Yeah, just keep going through the book and see what happens. And to Howard Kunz. Who are you, stranger? I haven't seen you in years. Or two weeks, anyway. It's around. Where'd it go? It's around here somewhere, I don't know. It's right here. I'm using it. Someone gave me a song out of it. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can see no matter how near you'll be, you'll never be one to me. But I can breathe, can't I? I can pretend. of your be able to do this song. Great song. I, I'll, have to, I'll have to work that one up so I can. Nick, do it justice. 
We're getting some great requests. We can have these people. It's amazing in this day and age, we can assemble so many people that know these songs. That's not an easy task to do. I think we've got them all. That's a good book, Nick. Nick, why did I wander? Here and there and yonder, wasting precious time for no reason or rhyme. Shane likes that one. Is it to the pity? Is it to the crime? My journey's ended. Everything is splendid. Meeting you today has given me a wonderful idea. Funny thing, I look at you, I get a thrill, I never knew, isn't it a pity, we never met before. Like a dream, the two of us, a perfect team. Is it that a pity we never met before? Imagine all the lonely years we've wasted. You with the neighbors, I with silly labors, the joy untasted. You reading Heine, I somewhere in China, happiest of men, I'm sure to be, if only you. Will say to me, Isn't it a pity we never met before? Gershwin and Gershwin, right, guy? Great song. Thank you, Ryan. Written by Good DNA. It's nice having Tom Lewandowski out here in the lounge with us. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around, finally found somebody who could make me feel blue, make me blue, even be glad. Just to be sad, thinking of you. Some others I've seen might never be me, might never be cross. I try to be boss, they shouldn't do. But nobody else gave me a thrill. With all your faults, I love you still. It had to be you, wonderful you, it had to be you. You know who wrote that one? It's not what it's called.
it says? It says music by Isham Jones, Isham Jones, and Gus Khan. I did know that. Isham Jones has some good stuff. You know, he retired from the band business and turned his band over to Woody Herman. Wow. Trust this history.
from higher and higher. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Rogers and Hart, for giving us that software. Patty likes Mary's dress. And a disembodied voice just said, how nice. There she is. It's not her face, but such a charming face that it's all right for me. It's the wrong time and the wrong place. Although it's your charming, it's the wrong face. It's not her face. But such a charming face. Very nice face. That it's all right with me. But such a lovely smile that it's all right with me. You can know how happy I am that we met you, strangely attracted to you. Someone I'm trying so hard to forget. Get someone to wrong me in the wrong chips. It's no fun. They're just your lips. They're not her lips. But such tempting lips that some night you're free. It's all right, it's all right with me. Sorry. It's a surprise ending. Christmas in June. Wow, Jim's out there. Jim Anticola's out there. I haven't seen you in a long time, sir. Trust everything's great. It was just, it was just one of those things. Just one of those crazy flakes, one of those bells that now and then rings. It was just one of those things. Did you ever one of those things, Nick? It was just one of those nights. Just one of those. Fabulous flights, a trip to the moon on gossamer wings. It was just one of those things. We fought a bit, just the end of it when we started painting the town. We'd have been so aware. That our love affair was too hot not to give down. So goodbye, 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 dear, and amen. Here's hoping we meet now and then. It was great, great fun. 
but it was just it was just one of those things it was just one of those things it's one of those things I can tell. Well, you showed them. <laughs> you showed them. That, that's what you needed. That's what you needed to be told you can't do something. David? Then I took Three of them later. Right. There, 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 that one's bad. I know you did. Did I tell you that? Well, I'm familiar with your career. Oh, that looks like an authentic one. too hungry for dinner at eight. He likes the theater, but he never comes late. He never bothers with people he hates. That's why Dave is a champ. I don't like crap games with Baron and Earls. Won't go to Harlem Avenue in Ermine and Pearls. Won't dish the dirt with all of those girls. That's why. That's why the lady is a tramp. She likes the free, fresh. Wind in her hair, life without care. She's broke and oak, hates California. It's cold and it's damp. That's why the lady is a tramp. Composers. 
Janet's here. Hi, yeah, Janet. I had those too. From Lake um, Worth. Richard Rogers. Lake yeah, Worth here. Beach Cottage. Mm -hmm. This would be. That's great. I'm glad we're part of your vacation, Janet. I don't know who that is. Janet? Okay, I'm not sure who you got, but I'll. You got oh, my old I've school chum. I only had these three. Yeah. yeah she's watching oh, from uh, her is island. That? I don't know. Oh, who's that? Irving Berlin. Oh, I didn't recognize Irving Berlin. Nick, there are girls. Just right oh, for the kissing. Yeah. Yeah, this okay, one so goes out to Harvey Weinstein. Um, so I do not know him. I know him by name, but or him. There are girls. Just right for some kissing. It's amazing. Yeah, we got more of them. I mean to kiss me a few. On the cover. Oh, those girls don't know what they're missing. Yeah, yeah. All right. I expected. I've got a lot of living to do. And there's wine already for tasting. There's Cadillacs, all shiny and new. Gotta move, cause time's a wasted. There's such a lot of women to do. Music to play, places to go, people to see. Everything. For Nick and me, life's the ball, if only you know it, and it's all just waiting for you, you're alive, so come on and show it, there's such a lot of living to do. Farther than they, if you want the thrill of love, 
Driving through the mill of love, old love, new love, every love but true love. to buy Nick's wares, follow me and climb upstairs, love for sale. It's more than a haircut for crying out loud. Thank you, Jane, once again, for being the leader. Do something a little different. I know. I I I know. I know. I I Paper rose <laughs> that only grows in an early spring. Love is nature's way of giving reason to be living. Where did Kate go? I thought I saw Kate coming through here earlier. She was supposed to be here tonight. Kate Fitzgerald. Are you out there, Kate Fitzgerald? But you know what? We are so looking forward to her being here tonight. She's, she was in town from Arizona. And then her schedule got disrupted or screwed up or something, her itinerary. Kate, love me or leave me. Don't let me be lonely. You won't believe me. I love you only. I'd rather be lonely than happy with somebody else. You might find nighttime the right time for kissing. Nighttime is my time for just reminiscing, regretting instead of getting with somebody else. That someone is you. I intend to be independently. Ooh. I want your love. Want to borrow or borrow? Have it today to give back tomorrow. My love is your love and no love, nobody else. It's a nice song. Who, who wrote that one? I don't know. Who did? Yeah. I'm trying to stump Paul here. It's pretty tough. I was, I was trying to work it out. I don't have it yet. It's Wal a great song. Walter it's Donaldson and uh, Gus Kahn. Oh, I would never ever come up with that. Okay, that is, that's a tough one. Not that I'm letting you off. Yeah, I do. I play classical. I used to play in a band room. Didn't roll the shadows away. I used to play in a band room. I used to play at my heart. I skipped a line. Magic moment. And my heart seemed to go. That love said, oh. Though not a word was spoken. This is for Kathy. One look and I forgot the bloom of the past. One look and I had found the future at last. One look and I had found the world completely new. When love walked in with you.
out the gloom of the past. One. Can I found my future at last? One. Of walking with Bob Davis. Thank you, Kathy. Here's Nick walking down the street. Skipping over the cracks. What a day. Fortune smiled and came my way. Bringing love I never thought I'd see. I'm so lucky to be Nick. What a night. Suddenly you came in sight Looking just the way I hoped you'd be I'm so lucky to be here At this chance in my luck Knowing once I wanted you You never dreamed you'd want me to I'm so proud you chose me from all the crowd. There's no other guy I'd rather be. I'm so lucky to be me. Nick's so lucky. To a show business Several. engagement. Several dudes. <laughs> They're gonna go vibe riding tonight. Right. I'm Countryside. Beautiful. Beautiful. You gotta say that very carefully. <laughs> How about another big round of applause for Jane and Dave, ladies and gentlemen? special stopping in another busy night they're off cartooning places buffalo is cartoonist and he's a loop cadet yeah yeah he does he's published um well i don't know like every five minutes he's, he's everywhere doesn't happen unless it was a cartoon Christine Dabawa Swiss Santora is watching Lounge Academy. How are you, Christine? It's nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. And Gretchen's out there too. And Bill Jenkins. Metzler, who's also a donut cadet. A lot of the people tuning in tonight are multi enrolled. <laughs> and Vince is watching from his island. And Diana's in. Toronto. Wow, we got 10 people watching. I think this is a world's record. I've been waiting to have 10 so we can do this song, Nick. It's a real show business tune from Gold Diggers. Come on along 
and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. Hip hurrah, the ballyhoo, the lullaby of Broadway. The rumble of the subway train, the rattle of the taxis, the daffodils that entertain at Angelo's and Maxie's when the Broadway baby says goodnight. It's early in the morning. Manhattan babies don't sleep tight until the dawn. Good night, baby. Good night, milkman's on his way. Sleep tight. Busby Berkeley. Thank you, Diana. That is so true. Someday he'll come along. The men I love. And she'll be big and strong. The man I love And when he comes my way The song Mary was singing when I met her <laughs> I'll do my best to make him Sit and beg <laughs> Oh, that's a dog <laughs> He'll look at me and smile I'll, I'll understand And in a little while He'll take my big hairy hand And though it seemed absurd I know we both won't say Show me him Sunday, maybe Monday, maybe not. Still, I'm sure to meet him one day, maybe Tuesday will be my good news day. We'll build a little home Just meant for two From which I'll never roam Who would, would you? So all else above I'm waiting for the man I love What a great song by Gershwin's owner, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they wrote a bad one. <laughs> Did they write a bad song? No, Jack said that too. That they never wrote a bad song. Oh, they, did, did you ever hear a bad Gershwin song? I've never heard a bad Cole Porter song either, though we're a bad no. Irving Berlin song. <laughs> 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 Or a bad Marilyn Wilson song. <laughs> yeah. I remember once at WNED they played some obscure 1700s composer and said, a lot It's of nice to see said, Karen yeah, Roth music. out there. Isn't that great compared to Mozart? I put that again. What have you written lately? Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Royalty. Yeah. 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 
we were just talking about a letter earlier. A night in a lounge doesn't go by, or a day doesn't go by, where a lecture doesn't fit into the conversation somewhere, right, Mary? Yeah, that's right. A lecture always yeah. gets in the conversation. Where is it? She came up this morning, didn't she? She did, because well, we got the bedspread. They came from Electra. We, we, we've been sleeping on Electra's bedspread. Yeah, we have a bedspread yeah. from Electra. She was a fan of Jackie Cowell. Electra, Cowboys, good, oh, great yeah. lounge. She gave us a bedspread. Oh. Friend, <laughs> friend, friend Electra. all of life. Electra Clogger. Electric clogger, and um, the other night I noticed there was a, a Karen Roth. I I noticed there was a, a new bedspread we were climbing into an evening recently, and I said, "Oh, this, I like this. Look at this nice pattern." And um, I said, "I don't remember this." She said, "Electra gave it to me." Our our friend Electra. Yeah. And I didn't know she, I, or yeah. maybe I was there and forgot all about yeah. it. I mean, it must have been many years ago, but it, it surfaced well, yeah, it at surfaced home, in the tides of the and it was time to use it. Yeah. It's great. Imagine if she was yeah, joining she, us now. Certain people I know would be here. Electra would be here. Ernie Eaton would be here. Ernie Eaton, the old society editor from the Buffalo News. Remember Ernie? She'd be here. Richard Gretzky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Wish he was around. These were the great lounge. These were the great lounge people. The night is bitter. Stars have lost their glitter. The winds grow colder. Suddenly you're older. All because of the man that got away. No more eager call The writings on the wall The dreams you dreamed are all gone astray The man that won you Has run off and undone you The great beginning Seen a final ending. Don't know what happened. It's all a crazy game. No more all time thrill. You've been through the mill. And never a new love will be the same. Goodbye, every trick of his yarn too. But fools will be fools, and then he's gone too. The road gets rougher, lonelier and tougher. Hope you'll burn up. Tomorrow she may turn up, just to let up. Word a night and day. Ever since this world began, there's nothing sadder than a one man woman looking for the man that got away. Man, somebody was in a mood when they wrote that one. Turning, making lemonade out of lemons. No, wrote a great is song. Is that Noel Coward? Who did that? Yeah, who wrote Harold that? Arwen oh, and Ira Gershwin. Oh, yeah. Why did I wow. think the man that got away? What's that from? Is, is 
A Star is Born. Oh, A Star is Born. I had it all wrong. I was mixing it up with somebody else. 1954. With Ira Gershwin. With Ireland. Exactly. What a song. We got to get Judy Garland in here to sing that one tonight. <laughs> I just got the Judy Garland Christmas LP. It was at Ambet. Here's one from Mark, Mark David. David. Are you still out there? Orchestra, but that's great. I got to put it on a thing so we can play it here. There be fun. Otis regrets. Judy Garland and the Pontiac. A dollar. She's in able to lunch today. Pop Davis. Otis regrets. She's unable to watch today. Each time I look at you, it's like the first time. Each time you're near me, the thrill is new. Nothing that I wouldn't do for oh, that's great. You gotta turn it. the rowdy light of oh, it's the yeah. sight of I mean, you. The more I see you, the more I want you. Diamond Horseshoe. That's a great song. Oh, yeah, it is. Horseshoe. Harry Warren. 1945. Nobody realizes how many songs you wrote. Well, thank you tonight, Ty. I got this tie from uh, Jackie Jocko. It was his tie and he gave it to me. Yeah. He gave me my ties. Yeah. Yeah. It started one night, which is my favorite tie. Yeah. i got to bring it. It's over at my other location. I've got to bring it back here. I've never seen Garrett Gandy. Uh, That's the one that Matt had. I complimented him on his tie. He's playing. He's at Evie Green's. Took it off and gave it to me. <laughs> yeah. Then he started bringing them in. He started bringing the ties in in a brown paper bag. And when he'd see me, give me the ties. He'd say, you're going to need these. Well, I mean, it, you know. It, it gives me encouragement to know I got his tie wrapped around my neck, you know? It's like... I can feel him squeezing my neck whenever I do something wrong. Barbara Fisher just walked in the room. Barbara Fisher, North Carolina. Whenever Barbara Fisher walks into one of the great lounges, she's from Buffalo. 
One of the great lounges. The piano snooted. It's impossible. Tell the sun to leave the sky. It's just impossible. It's Barbara Fisher's song. It's impossible. Ask a baby not to cry. It's just impossible. Barbara Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Here's one that um, Jeff. I think Jeff requested this, or was it was a Mark. Or did Mark request this?
Well, thank you, Nick. I figure there must be something, some misunderstanding here. Ladies and gentlemen, two great show business legends are with us right now. Bill Zimmerman and David Vernon. Yeah. Imagine putting those two together. Wow. Bill Zimmerman, who's a little hard to explain. His talent is a little hard to explain. It's, it's vast. And David Vernon. David, I, I, I wish I had a way to do that. If Well, let's see. If you, if you, if you called up, it'll be in time delay. If you, you'll have to turn your radio down when you do this, David Vernon. And call us. Well, you could call me on the phone and... I don't, it'll only be as loud as my phone. You know, I'll, I'll get a, uh, I'll, I'll YouTube it and like check all the experts and find out how we can do a call in line that hooks up to the PA. Because David Vernon will, will sing with us. He's, 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 I have to say one of my favorite singers because, well, you know, I don't want to diss anybody, but. But, you know, David, yeah, go ahead. But David <laughs> Vernon, man, really? he's on his own planet. Uh, I'll send you some links. Okay. Yeah, he does. He does the songs you like. I'm looking forward to that, David. That'll be a trip. That'll be a, like a bucket list item. David Vernon, if you look over my shoulder on the shoulder cam and take a look at the woman across from me. This song's for her. Inspired by David Vernon. If you don't see her each day, I miss her. Each time I see that kisser, believe me, I've got a case. Nancy with the laughing face, she takes the winter, she makes it summer. from her picture a tomboy in lace Nancy with a laughing face Do you ever hear mission bells ringing Those are the bells Give you the very same glow Just hear her say, hello. I swear to goodness, you can't resist her. David Vernon, sorry for you. She has no sister. No one could ever replace. She laughs. It's, her whole face laughs. It's great. It's a great laugh. I make her laugh. She gives. I said, not just only she gives. She gives. She gives. She gives. She gives. 
a sad story. David Vernon says hi back to Mary. Well, why don't we turn the room and then we'll do the material over again. <laughs> Holding hands at midnight Neath the starry sky Nice work if you can get it Then you can get it if you try Strolling with that one girl Sigh, sigh after sigh Nice work, if you can get it, then you can get it if you try. Just imagine someone waiting at the cottage door, where two hearts become one, could ask for anything more. Loving one that loves you, and taking that vow. Nice work, if you can get it, and you can get it, won't you tell me how? <laughs> Gershwin and Gershwin. <laughs> Here's one Kathy likes. Oh no, that was another one. You'll like this one too. Night and day. You are the one Neath the moon Under the sun Whether near to me or far No matter, darling, where you are I think of you Night and day David Vernon said hi back to Mary. <laughs> David Vernon, here's one of the arguably best songs of Gershwin, which could, people could argue forever about that, not even narrow it down to a hundred. This is Mary's favorite. Of the island. Of the island of Manhattan. Through the coast of gold. From north to south, from 
east to west you are the love i love the best Each night and day, four years through all, the USA, the star I've hitched my wagon to, is very obviously you. Richie said he was going to be coming a little late. <laughs> oh, sweet and lovely. Lady, Lady Pika. <laughs> Richie Pika. <laughs> to me. <laughs> I'm also. Misunderstood. for Kate Fitzgerald. That was called Katie B. Good. Um, 
Well, she, yeah. she's not with us I, anymore. I can't yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. And she's with us. Yes. yes. Because the lounge yeah. grates. <laughs> yes, I know you know everybody. They're, yeah. They're, 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 they're so alive to us. Paul, did you know that... Uh, and Paul, Paul Kokoda, did, did you know that uh, and Sheridan wrote Lady Be Good in about five minutes? And Sheridan? According to Mark David Heimbeck Nielsen, maybe the story or the scene, you know, the story the musical. Maybe that's what yeah. he's talking about. Well, he's talking about the musical or the song. The song was Gersh. Yes. Yeah, Gershwin and Gershwin. Yeah, Gershwin and Gershwin. Yeah, Gershwin and Gershwin. He wants to be talking about the show. I love that. I'd like to say hi to, to Big Z Big. How are you, sir? He's home working on my piano bench. Z-Big got my piano bench to fix over at the Statler. I come back in. Things have been completely transformed. It's this like white, super fancy button tucks. Yeah, he turned it into a thing like, but he turned it into a Liberace bench for me. Just because the leg was broken. It's white, it's leathery. Amazing. On a clear day, rise and look around you. Kathy, and you'll see who you are. On that clear day, how it will astound you that the door of your being outshines every star you'll feel part of every mountain sea and shore you can hear from far and near a world you never never heard before and on that clear day on that clear day you can see Watching Lounge Academy on WBIG TV. We do this every Friday, whether you like it or not. <laughs> right here on my wall. We started around seven o'clock tonight. I started lessons when I was seven. Yeah. met with my parents, and they got to me, they said, 
save your money on horse back to the It's hard to believe that. I to save my money with her. <laughs> It's always a good idea to save money. Nothing wrong with that advice. I ended up playing the flute. I played the flute all through college. Well, that's smart because they're easy to carry. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're easy to carry. Right. Unless you get a pickleball. That'd they be even are. smaller. Right? A pickleball would be even smaller. Well, my gosh. This, I, and we went to, to football games. Yeah. And I would play and somebody... Nearby, they would take the end of my float. <laughs> oh, and pull it out. <laughs> my sister played the float. I didn't know what I'm to do that prank on her. Nothing really seems to be lasting. Kathy, <laughs> that isn't our affair. <laughs> We've got something permanent. I mean, in the way Nick cares. <laughs> It's very clear Our love is here to stay Not for a year Whatever and a day The radio and the telephone And the movie that we know May not just be passing fancies and in time may go, but oh my dear, our love is here to stay, together we're going a long, long way, in time the Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble, hardly made of clay, but our love is here to stay. family. The missiles. The missiles. They've been here. They're oh, Amish cadets. Missile. I have his coat. Oh, yeah. Teresa and Don. And <laughs> you know, I gave a little thought to that, uh, Miss, Mrs. Missile. And and I remembered what it was about. I mean, I think I think I figured out what that was about. The, the old reverse. I can't tell you right here. In fact, I can't even repeat your question right here. As a matter of fact. Teresa, don't talk about me. When I'm gone, oh honey, though our friendship ceases from now on, and listen, if you can't say anything really nice, let's not talk at all, that's my advice, we're parted. If you go your way, I'll go my way. It's the best we can do. Here's a kiss. Hope that this brings lots of luck to you. Makes no difference how I carry on. Oh, 
baby, don't you talk about me when I'm Thanks for uh, hanging with us. Lots of fun knowing you're there. Wherever you're going, put it on Facebook so we can watch you and rerun. I love that. Uh, I love that room you guys were were snuck into on your uh, video. Looked like you were at some kind of function or something. You snuck into an empty room that had a piano and you grabbed a blonde pianist and threw her on the bench. And that view, I, was, I couldn't help thinking, somebody's paying like a lease on that. That room was big. And it looked like they just used it for, as like a lunch room or something. And uh, prime, prime real estate, New York City. What a great place. I want that as a practice room. Those silk shining stockings I wear when I'm with you. I wear on account of you told me that you did that crazy you. Do we think of romance when we go to a dance? Do you take a chance at those? Shining stockings. <laughs> shining stockings. Then came along some nice chick with great legs and stockings too. You changed your mind about why I never knew. Yes, I'll have to find a new, a new kind. Guy who digs my shining stockings too. I was asking Mary about fashion the other day while we were walking around the park, I think, and we were discussing uh, women's fashion. I was asking you what the fashion trends are with with women's stockings. Yeah, I haven't worn stockings for a long time. Either. Because they went out. Now, I remember when I was at the news, when I was new. Stockings news, looked great. I used to have to wear them, and we always used to, but then they went the out. Nylon somehow, ones. When you didn't have yeah, the nylon ones. Yeah, well, I, I went saw them. Yeah, and then down there. Come out Except my mom. Day, my mom used I would to take them off in my put them on and they'd have the garter. that go on her girdle. They women were used, to wear. used to wear all kinds of like equipment. And you know, that was part of our conversation with Mary. Hi, Bill Zimmerman. We were talking about you earlier, Bill. And, and um, then you wear black tights. Well, we were talking I mean. about, you know, yeah. some of these. And I've noticed yeah, the fashion things, they never allow for that. Like, <laughs> what do you have there? You got boots on? Do you want one more time? Oh, wow. Nice. You got nice. Man, nice those are <laughs> serious. Oh, that's so yeah. chilly today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But anyway, we were talking, I was asking Mary about the fashions. She, she likes to wear the old, the old dresses and things, right? You know? And it's like, well, you know, to really look authentic, 
You'd have to be wearing like the girdles and the bra, you know. Forget the, that. No. You'd have to be wearing like the stockings and the, the girdle. My mom girdles. used to wear those fashions. The girdles and the they used to wear the bras, you know. Remember all that stuff? Now the guys wear them. The women don't want anything to do with them. Things have flipped. Yeah, me too. It sounds like, like things that would have been in the AMA's basement. I bought a couple slips down there, but I don't think I ever, I must have worn them back then. I think I still have these slips, but you don't wear slips anymore, is there sometimes? No. You just don't need them anymore. I don't know what it is. I think the, the clothes, they build them in when you need them. No, they, they, they do. It's just the, the marketing and the industry has changed. I'd like to see what would happen if... Yeah, my mother did also. Yeah. 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 Men's clothing stays the same. And the wigs. They had the wigs, too. Yeah, talk about wigs. They were basically, our mothers were basically cross-dressers. Right? Because they put on all the stuff to, like, to amplify the womanness. But, I mean, they, they do what the guys do now. Men put all that stuff on. It's not, not all men, but I think men's clothing is still the same. It's a bit, it rarely changes. Yeah, we're lucky. Well, yeah, yeah, you are. You can. Men's oh. clothing stays pretty much. Oh, you know they do change the suits just so you have to buy new ones if you don't want to look like you're like you're me. Oh, Ethan Allen. Yeah, that's a furniture Somebody loves me. I wonder who. I wonder who, who can she be? Somebody loves me. I wish I knew who she can be. Worries me. For every girl that passes me, a shout out maybe. You were meant to be my loving baby. Somebody loves me. I wonder who maybe it's you. Nice to see you, Barry. Barry was having dinner at the Eagle House. How nice. I used to live in that apartment right behind the Eagle House. The one that's down in that big hole. It was fun. Wow, Barry has a house of teenage girls tonight. No wonder he doesn't want to be here. Good luck with that. Really. Our own Barry. He's at home with a house full of teenagers. Teenage girls. There's a somebody who's longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone who over near. Do you want to do a song? No. I'm a little man who's lost in the woods. I know I could always be good to one who watched over me.
Won't you tell me, please? Put on some speed. I'll over my Oh, how I need someone who watch over me. Another great version to it. From okay. I hope so. I can't believe you. I mean, I knew this. Nineteen twenty six. Yeah. Mine were my 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 parents were were still uh, kind of youngsters, nineteen twenty six my my dad was eleven. And my mom would have been seven. <laughs> My dad was from the city, as they say, and my mom was a Buffalo girl. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, he came here for her, right? Well, no. Or what happened? He stayed, he, he stayed here. He stayed here. Oh, he her. came here to work in the at uh, Curtis, Curtis Wright. Wright, and then he oh, met wow. your mother. They were they were auditors during oh, the war. And then, he, and then he met her. Bean counters. Oh, bean counters. Yeah. Curtis Wright. Wow. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I went to the Niagara Falls Museum of the Air, whatever. Boy, what an era that was. Aeroplane, aeroplane museum, whatever it's called. I never realized the role that Buffalo played in the aircraft, but we made all the airplanes. They were all made of Buffalo in World War II and stuff. I mean, a lot of them, and they sold well, the nuclear bomb was partially made here. Other places. Yeah. I just never realized that the Wright brothers, and, and that it all, Trump wasn't in charge, that it all um, happened here. Well, and well, they what they they they, they blew them the up. Bell, they Brown, used them. Bell. So what what could yeah you know, what more could you do? I wonder why we ended up with the Arab Center. Yeah. Oh, and that's funny. <laughs> oh, funny. Your eyes you don't role. shine. Like they used to shine when the thrill is gone. When your lips, when your lips touch mine, I'm afraid the masquerade is over. So is I would never trust him. And so is love. Your words don't mean. What they used to be. Just, they're just routine. I'm afraid the masquerade is over. And so is love. I guess I'll have to play IIG and give myself a clown's disguise and learn to laugh like Pagliacci. Gee, you're a 
Masquerade is over, is over. Same German. He come around to our house, Mr. Mr. Miller. 
he was really off the boat German. And he'd, uh, you know, he had the whole German thing, and he, he dressed like, he'd come over in his suit and his hat and his cane, and he had these, he, he'd draw out these intricate graphs and things. He was, I think he was left over from the rocket program. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe it meant you didn't need lessons, you know, that you just were natural. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking, Barry. Sorry. Okay, we're going to do Am I Blue for Mark, uh, David, and Barry. They, they're getting a little bit upset. They're falling behind on the request. That's good. It's good when people, it's a good trait in a lounge cadet. To be anxious to hear the song. I was in the moment. Now I'm in this moment. Mark David Heimlich Nielsen, am I blue? Am I blue? Ain't these tears in these eyes telling me? Request, Mark. <laughs> well, I just ordered new ones just like it. I did yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, when will they come in? I'll be able to see better. No, at Walmart. I bought these like five years ago. And these frames were like eighteen dollars, because who would want them, right, back then? Since then, they've become all the rage. These big black. You look so different without them. I see different too. You look different without them. 
Let me see. You look different. Nick's got glasses like mine now. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. That's good. I don't want to look at that. Let me see. Ladies and gentlemen, I only sing songs, but God is in the room. I have this one saved for you, see? We're going to do this one together. We're going to do it together for a few now it's on. It's on. He's such a professional. I like him. He's crazy. He thinks you have to blow it up. Stand up. Please. Oh, you mean the time for a break? Oh, do we remember which one? Nick's, Nick's gonna sing. Oh, spinning birds like I Which one is it? Oh, you can laugh over. You sing in a chorus. Take it away, Nick. Acapella or something. I don't know. 
Cigar. All I can hear is me crunching this pretzel. <laughs> no smoking cigars in here. <laughs> you can't see them. Howard's got cigars. You do? Howard does. Oh, who's Howard? Howard is on the Oh. He's got some humidor around here somewhere. Feed him, man. Feed him, musician. Let's go. Oh, it's still over. Oh, man. Oh. For falling in love with you, fool that I am, for thinking you love me too, you took my heart and played And our dreams disappeared like the smoke from a lit cigarette. Fool that I am for thinking you'd understand and thinking you would listen to the things we had planned, but we couldn't see eye to eye. So, darling, this is goodbye, but I still care Educated, smart, 
Buffalo show business couple, McNeil and Lundy. Mari McNeil's out there, ladies and gentlemen. Mari McNeil, ladies and gentlemen, is tuning in. Joining us. Huge star. Misbehaving. I'm 
mit zwei Mal Thanks, Rich. Barry, say hi to all your teenage girls. Who's sorry now? I don't know if I got sorry that. Sorry now. Oh, that's a cute song. Mark comes up with great songs. Who came up with that? Mark David Heimbeck oh, Nielsen. Oh, Mark Heimbeck Nielsen. Who's sorry now? That was on my Benny Carter record, Swinging the Twenties. He did Who's Sorry Now. Swinging the 20s. It's a 20 song. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with the song. Are you live on YouTube now? Are yeah, Facebook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Whatever yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're so, all, Keep I it clean, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's Academy. Well, I want to compliment you that when I was younger, I grew up in the restaurant business. I figured I'd learn a little more. I mean, just drove up and down the floor, drove up obviously in some great clubs with piano players, and you take me back. Oh, when I was that's years sweet old. Wow. That's nice. And I asked your wife, I says, when you were 17 or 18, did they ever play in clubs? Because you remind me of something you guys it was so cool, so good. Oh, so, wow. I mean, wow, that's really everything. Nice. Can't compete with the guys back then, though. That was. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think yeah, that I was don't know. Yeah. We, we come here, we hardly know anybody who's very friendly, very oh, you know, welcome to you. And you can't wait till Friday. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, neither we can we, Bob. Thank you. 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 Thank Let's see if I can find I that one, nice Mark David Heimlich Nielsen. Yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know if I've noticed that one in any of the books. Yeah. How about this one instead? Here's one I never played before, Mark. I just turned to it. It's like, hey, this is a cool song. Be there, you know, it has four flats. Oh, that's a great one, too. The party's over. I love that song. It's in one of my books. I gotta find it. The very thought of you. And this funny fraternity you had. 
and I forget to do. The little ordinary things that everyone ought to do. I'm living in a kind of daydream. I'm happy as a king and that's everything, the mere idea of you. I see your face in every flower, your eyes in the stars above. It's just the thought of you, the very thought of you, my love. a nice song, Ray Noble. I never heard that one. It's a beautiful song. Oh, they have to be once. Okay, I so apologize. Oh, that's happening. Trying to pick out some good ones for uh, Mark David. Gregory Evans is out there. How are you, sir? Nice to see you on this lounge Friday night. No tears. No Oh, here's a good one, Mark David. This is one. David Vernon did the, who was visiting us earlier, did the definitive version of this, in my opinion. What do I do when you are far away and I am blue? What do I do? What do I do when I am one?
chokes me up. Let woes come true. What will I do? song. I don't know. That one. That thing. Somebody said somebody Um yeah, Jane Jane brought the uh, donut. Oh, thank you, Richie. That one just like yeah. appeared there. I'm, I don't know who put it there. Hello, Gregory Evans. Great to see you, sir. Mark David, I had the craziest dream last night. Yes, I did. I never dreamt it could be. But there she was, in love with me. I saw her lips next to mine, so I kissed her. She didn't mind it at all. When I'm awake, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you care, then please say you do, my baby. Say it and make mine, make my crazy dreams come true. a break never happens. 
How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you care, then please say you do, my baby. Say it and make my make my crazy dreams come true. He did make it. Kaya. Kaya says hi, Richie. He's back there helping to clean up. Good guy. He wasn't even here to make the mess. So. You lost your what? He lost his voice, Kaya. Here's one I've never done. It's the last song in this book. You've changed. The sparkle in your eyes is gone. Your smile is just a careless yawn. You're breaking my heart. Nothing like quasi kisses. Smile is just a kiss. You're bored with me in every way. I can't understand. You've changed.
smile is just a careless yawn. You're breaking my heart. Song. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> I just think this I'll take a I'll I'll take a picture of it so I remember. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. We've had a great time. Oh, with you too. Well, well, thank you, Bob. So did we. I like that camera work. We didn't even finish talking out of it. We were trying to talk out. He could have worked over the career. Oh, the career. I would have loved it. Well, if you guys had these then. Wouldn't have been in the dark room. <laughs> when I was first working at the news, we were still getting a lot of calls. Thank you, Gaia. And at one point, for one of our Christmas parties, we used to spool the big Christmas carols. And one of the, the head of the copy desk and I would run a song to God rest you, very gentlemen, where the, the punchline Take was. Take me to the river. Bring back the Courier Express. <laughs> Courier Express. <laughs> Because everyone was bitching to us that the Courier Express did everything better. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we, and we love the Courier too. Everybody yeah, I don't know. I I don't know if I I don't know if that's in these these books. I think he might be too new. Mark David. Quarter to three. No one's in the place except you and me. So set him up, Joe. I've got a little story I'd like you to know We're drinking, my friends To the day of a brief episode One for my baby, one more for, for the road. I've got a routine, drop another nickel in the 
Johnny Mercer and Harold Ireland, that's right. That's right, Mark. You know, we have a huge We have air conditioning. Yeah, yeah, boy, he could put the lyrics together. Here's one by Hoagie Carmichael. Yes, wait, what? We're gonna see right now. Isn't that cute? We'll have to make something. It's not the pale blue. I love that. We're lost down something. That excites me. I could never downside. I got the rest. And he likes me. Oh no. It's just the nearness of you. It's not your your sweet conversation that brings brings this sensation. Oh no! It's just the nearness. Thank you. 
the nearness of you. I'm a two-piston banker. So give me whatever. With my son, I don't think I had quite a square the slice, though. We're going to have the national anthem uh, pretty soon. I You know this one? Yeah, I don't think I. Moonlight becomes you. So when you go. That's right. It says that right here, Mark. Johnny Burke, Jimmy Van Heusen.
everybody else. I don't think so. You guys want to be seen? You ready to do the uh, national anthem? Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes a day of programming at WBIG TV. We're going to conclude with our Richie Sellers ending the ending the broadcasting day. Flag day. Flag day. Flag day on top of everything else. Okay, here we go. It's so cold, I keep forgetting it's <laughs> 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 Thank you, Bob and Nancy. Well, thanks everybody for another great night, another great episode in the can, so to speak. Thanks, Mark, David Heimbeck, Nielsen for for the tremendous requests, and I'm not surprised by them. Keep them coming uh, next week, and. Uh, to all the rerun watchers, welcome, and uh, we'll we'll do this all again next week. I take my finger that can not only create music, but it has the power to destroy music, and I'll do that by ending the show. Have a great week, and uh, keep lounging, and don't make any plans. Here we go.